In this content we will look at how a military co-actual helicopter work. The basic differences between the old and new helicopter system. The unique safety measure of the pilot ejection seat and the hidden radar technology under the nose. We will also look at why this is called a scout and attack helicopter, the weapons behind it, which gives its name as the attack alligator. This might be a perfect competition with the American Apache helicopter. So let's get straight to the content. The Kamov Ka-52 Alligator is an all-weather combat helicopter created by the Kamov Design Bureau. NATO reporting name, Hokum B. The Ka-52 is an upgraded version of the Ka-50 helicopter also known as Black Shark. It is intended to strike low-speed air targets as well as armored and unarmored ground targets. Now let us look at the distinctive co-axle rotor of this helicopter and how it works. Most helicopters' main rotors rotate in a clockwise direction, which produces a torque or counterforce in the opposite direction. In order to counter this rotational torque on the body of the helicopter, which reduces helicopter stability, the helicopters use a tail rotor that provides the opposing force to push against the torque of the main rotor. Because helicopters depend so heavily on their tail rotors, any failure of the tail rotor could result in the aircraft losing control and entering an uncontrollable spiral lead. The coaxial rotor was one of many creative ideas created to fully omit the tail rotor. Helicopters with coaxial rotors have two rotors positioned one on top of the other. They are driven by coaxial shafts connected to the gearbox. The two rotors rotate in opposite directions. The lack of a tail rotor frees the helicopter from needing to transmit torque to it, greatly simplifying the boom design because the torque created by the rotors is not acting on the body. This makes the helicopter very maneuverable and suitable for attack helicopters and carrier-based landing. Due to the aerodynamic symmetry of the helicopter, it can conduct new sorts of combat maneuvers, which are the benefits of the coaxial rotor design is enhanced thrust of the main rotor blades and high turn rate. Combat maneuvers, such as flat turns in the direction of the target, sideways motions at high speeds are less seen in heavily armored combat aircraft and deep glides with a high pitch angle of up to 30 degrees or 35 degrees known as vortices are one of the main reasons for the advantage of the coaxial rotors. Now let us look at the features of this military helicopter. The helicopter has a length of 60 meter. It has a height of 4.9 meter, which was intentionally designed for keeping it low profile. It has a diameter of 14.5 meter with consideration with the coaxial rotor. The maximum takeoff weight of the Co-52 is 10,800 kg which is pretty good for a helicopter of this size and are supported by these powerful landing gears to absorb that weight. It is designed to be retractable just like this. This feature also helps the helicopter to maintain its aerodynamic shape. This is a GOES-451 gyro-stabilized optronic station designed to provide detection in TV and thermal mode, targeting and missile guidance for the Kemov Co-52 attack and scout helicopter. Keeping in mind that helicopter is being upgraded with the new Optoelectronic System 52. Inside the nose is a Radar R Valet 52 dual band coherent pulse radar, which has an earth mapping range of 32 km and a detection range of 25 km for ground targets and 15 km for aerial targets. Moving back, we have the cockpit, which is being armor protected. The pilot is protected with armor footboards and armor plates on the sides. The Ka-52 is also equipped with bulletproof glass cockpit, which protects the two pilots from most general low-caliber projectiles. Interestingly, this is also one of the few helicopters that has an emergency ejection seat. Now, let's see how this works. First, the rotor blades as well as the cockpit canopy are separated, then these rocket activates which ejects both the pilot and the co-pilot to a safe distance, thus saving the lives of the crew. Moving down the left side is the Shapunov II, a 4230mm autocannon. This cannon was also used as the primary weapon in this BMP light fighting armor line of vehicle. As you can imagine, this cannon is huge when comparing it to a person measuring 3 meter and a barrel length of 2.416mm. It has a range of 4km combined with 400 rounds of ammunition. It is designed to engage armored and slightly armored ground target. The gun have a slightly partial angle of only 30 to 35 degree down. 
and its side could rotate around 9 degree, we believe this is more restricted. While comparing it to an Apache helicopter, the gun could move at almost 180 degree. But analyzing this will require another content. Now let's look at the heavy missile equipment that makes it an attack and scout helicopter. It can carry as many as six ornaments pods. Let's look at this one. This is S-8 Kong, unguided aviation rocket with a wholly charged fragmentation or head of impact effect. The rocket is made of a warhead and rocket motor, nozzle block and fin assembly covered by casing. It is designed for destroying ground targets, shooting at least four to five rockets at once to increase the chance of hitting the enemy as they are invited. The reason for the use of these rockets as they are cost-effective and does damage. This missile could be used for a range of 3 to 4 kilometers with an armor penetration of 400 mm. This is the 9M120 Ataka anti-tank missile. A helicopter would not be complete without these bad boys. The Russian made this to counter the armor fighting vehicle such as the Bradley and so on. The maximum range is 6 km for the 9M120, and the tandem warhead provides a penetration power of 800 mm, piercing almost every moving armor on the battlefield. This is the 9K121 Vicar missile specially made for attack helicopters, as well as fighter jets. It is designed to engage vital ground targets, including armored targets fitted out with built-in and add-on explosive reactive armor just like this American M1 Abram and other heavily armored fighting vehicle. It has a range of up to 8 km when fired from a helicopter and a maximum penetration of 1,000 mm. Now moving to the sides are these IGLA-S missiles designed to destroy low-flying air targets. The missile has a range of 6 kilometers, which interestingly have been adapted from the man pad IGLA as missile launcher. This missile was somewhat similar to the American Stinger missile, animated in our recent content if you wanted to know more. These are air defense systems which are designed to protect aircraft from anti-aircraft missiles with infrared, radar, or combined homing heads. This is the automatic flare and chaff dispenser which activates when a missile is shot at the helicopter. Just above these hard points are these two massive engines, the TV-3117VMA turboshaft engines. These helps the helicopter to achieve a maximum speed of 300 km per hour with a cruising speed of 260 km per hour. The engineering behind this was when one engine is shot the other engine could still take the helicopter to the base. Let's look at a short comparison with the American Apache helicopter. The Ka-52 has a rate of ascend of 52 feet per second, while the Apache helicopter has a rate of ascend of 39 feet per second. This shows the lifting power of these engines. All that power are being supplied by these four separate fuel tanks, three at the back of the fuselage and one just behind the cockpit. Now, why is this called a scout and attack helicopter? It is called Scout Helicopter because it provides transfer of target reconnaissance, target distribution, and target designation data to interacted helicopters and command posts of ground forces. This is the cockpit of the Ka-52 helicopter. It has almost identical function as both the pilot as well as the weapon system officer. Again, this helicopter could also act as a flying command post. The onboard Arbalet radar system allows the helicopter to effectively perform combat missions even in environments exposed to electronic jamming. The helicopter can detect hostile vessels at a range of 200 km. Till then, watch out for this Apache helicopter, as well as this Mi-24 helicopter. Help us produce more content by simply smashing the subscribe and like button.